What's up, Chivas? Don't you just love technology? Me and Alex sure do love technology. We are your easy achievers for the week of 1010. I'm joined by Alex. I'm one of your hosts, of course, Elijah, the illustrious, the only Elijah Miller. Thank you, Alex, for joining me today. We, of course, had no technical difficulties before this, and we definitely don't have to re-record an episode because of it. So don't worry about that. Do not worry. That is not what just happened, and we're not going to have to now re-say what we've done in the last 10 minutes over again. 13 minutes. 13 minutes to be exact by Mr. Alex over here. Um... I'm going to just rely on OBS because Zencaster has failed me once and you cannot fail me twice in a single day or you will get smited. So, moving to what we're going to talk about today is, of course, yes, you've seen the thumbnail. You saw the th- title. That's what it's called. PS5. And it's Teardown. We're going to be talking about the actual PS5 being broken up into a bunch of little, small, giant pieces. Alex, do you love small and giant pieces? It depends on what pieces they are. Because if they're too small and you like can't, of, mm-hmm. like if there's a lot of small pieces and of course. they all look the same, it, like it's really bothering. Right? Yeah. I I I think just like um, if it's I I the bottom of a bag of a, a good bag of chips is too small. I'd say right. Because at that point you have crumbs, and that's yeah. not what you want. You want heft. And at that point, you're sad, especially if you didn't think of head and you're like, oh, I have a bag of chips. You grab the bag of chips. Then you remember, oh, wait, I ate most of this. I don't have a bag of chips. I have a bag of small, tiny chips that have been broken up. Not as satisfying. Yeah, not as satisfying. Alex, what are you doing right now? You're in your own whole world. I know you are. I can tell by your your talking. What are you doing right now? Tell me. Tell me right now. I'm doing no such thing. You're full of shit, and the audience knows you are. What What are you obsessing about right now? Is, is it is, is it a cat? I bet let it's a cat. Me, let me pet my cat in peace. I knew it. I fucking knew it. All right, we're going to this breakdown. We're going to this breakdown. It's muted. Uh, I'm not going to show it on YouTube because I feel like a visual aid could be used at home if you really care. And if not, you could just right along with us during this little journey just just use your imagination i heard that too we got two usb ports in the front yes two you thought there was one well fuck you there's two usb a and usb c ports two in the front uh if i had to guess that usb c ports probably for vr right uh for whatever the new vr is going to be it's going to be one port probably well i mean isn't the new controller usb c Yes, but if my guess was what that actually is going to be utilized for would be a single USB-C port from a VR2, right? Doesn't that sound smart and guess-fine? I mean, if the... I, and I'm completely guessing. I'm, I'm literally full of shit, so... I would think it's for, like, the controller. Uh, I think it's for both, but hopefully PSVR2 is just wireless and we don't have to worry about it. Hope so. Uh, on the back, on that sex ass back, we got two USB A ports, an Ethernet cable, HDMI cable, and a power cable. Of course, nothing too crazy there. I assume those USB A's are going to be used for uh, storage um, externally. Of course, mm-hmm. um, you can, of course, as I keep reiterating, and I probably reiterated it too much, you can use storage for the PS5 and Series X. You can use external HDDs, but you cannot play off them. You can store the game, but you cannot play off them, just so you know. This thing has a lot of air vents, um, and also has a giant fan in it. Uh, Make sure it's not like a jet again. Yeah, uh, I want to say it won't be, but they've given me literally no reason to not do that. Now, there were a bunch of um, uh, Japanese influencers that got hands on PS5. They said it's incredibly quiet. It's incredibly quiet. That's what they said. So, and I trust them. I have no reason not to. And they're very nice people. It seems. I, I saw one video. It was very strange because, of course, I don't understand the language. But he he seemed very nice. It looks like you can take the standoff for the screwdriver, which I'm not crazy about. I know everyone's pretending like it's not a big deal, but Alex, I'm gonna sit you down for a second. We're gonna go to an extra realm. That's very similar to ours, Alex. Very similar to ours. The only difference is the Xbox has a removable stand and the PS5 doesn't. 
in this world, Alex, do you think that for one fucking second we wouldn't be getting destroyed for having a stand that was removable? Yeah. We, I we, we, I, Xbox would be meme central right now if they did this. But since it's PS5, it's like, eh, it's, it's fine. I'm just saying some hypocrisy out there. It's fine if you know your hypocrisy. And I like how the, with the Xbox, if you uh, lay it sideways, that at least the stand's not in the way when you lay it. If you leave the stand on the PlayStation, it, you can't. if you put it sideways, you can't. You can't. It's going to be all weird. It's going to be like like it's asses up. It's, you, it's you don't gonna, want that. It's, it's going to be like it's going to be like rocking like back and forth. <laughs> like a like a circle. Like it's going to be like swinging. It'll be weird. Don't do that, kids. You'll break it probably. I assume something will break. But you can you can of course take the stand off. Put it put it basically horizontally on it. That changes it to the sand. This is all in good fun, by the way. Just all in good fun. We're all having a fun time. I'm gonna meme on this PS5 as much as I can because it's hilarious. Uh, this thing is ginormous. We haven't brought that up yet. This is the size of the Japanese man holding it. Um, just kidding, of course. But it is very large. It's the size of this gentleman's torso. Um, the panels are removable, it seems, which is super cool. Um, I'm excited for that to be used for collector's editions or things like that, right? Yes. It does... And Alex, for one second, since we're on the design aspect... Okay. We couldn't have two polar opposite systems, right? Like, they're just so different. This thing is demanding that you look at it, right? It's om- it's damn near screaming at you just to look at it, right? And the Series X, I feel like, is doing the absolute opposite of that. It is a sleek square box just chilling in your entertainment center. Mm-hmm. And I think that's just interesting to point out. I think it's easy for people to forget and not think about, but, like... These systems are almost exact opposites of each other. One is, again, a very sleek, very nice box. This looks like something out of Futurama in a good way. I mean that in a good way, I promise. It, I like the design of it. It looks like a portal torrent. It looks like it should talk to me, too, which I kind of like, to be honest with you. Um, but, yeah, like we said, panels are being taken off. He does show off the fan here. The thing is the size of his face, but it's but that's a good. I think that's good. It should be huge. The the panel should be huge. Um, and everything else gets really techy from this point on. He does point out that you can replace the SSD with one that you would like to replace it with. Because, unfortunately, the PS5 does come with only, I believe, like 700, 600 gigs of SSD memory. Which is nothing. You said it's what? How much? Uh, like six or 700 SSD. I thought it was eight um so it's an it, so as far as i understand it's an 800 ssd um they need to use about 100 to 200 of the gigs to run the system oh wow so let's let's do this let's do this before i don't want to misinform everyone so let's do ps5 ssd size uh usable that should bring up what i'm looking for Have playstation ever... has 664 gigabytes of usable storage this was um, a quote unquote rumor um, that I don't believe has been technically confirmed, but is basically not been refuted. So I assume this is true because um, there's no reason to not. I mean, if if it wasn't true, PlayStation would Im- immediately say no. So I assume these 664 gigs are 100 percent true. So when they put on the box saying it's a terabyte, it's complete bullshit? As far as that seems, it has an 825 SSD, but of course it needs some of that to run the system. So it runs quickly. So. Which, which like you said, you only get six to seven hundred. Yeah. If the box says a terabyte, you're you're losing 400 gigs. (laughs) Yes, Alex. Yes, you are. That is interesting and... Sony has been sued before for lying on boxes. Um, that's a little dramatic, I think, for for the statement I'm about to bring up. But Sony did get sued before. They got sued for displaying, I want to say, the PS4 launch. They displayed on their box the display sand that was sold separately, but it did not say that on the box. So a lady actually sued Sony. And she won the, the she won the the sue, and they had to give her a stand for free. <laughs> That's what she got. She got a stand. Yeah, she got a stand for free. If I'm remembering the story correctly, yes, she got the stand, and that was that's what that's what she got. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Um, 
I, and I'm going to bring this up. Um, Alex, can you refresh our memory on the liquid metal? You did bring up a good point in the previous video that was eaten alive in the Zencaster world. So I want, yeah. so if you could just let the audience know the maybe issue or non-issue of liquid metal, please. Um, yeah, liquid metal does perform better, but it is more risky. It, it is more risky and dangerous to use because it can't. It, I think with between copper and I forget what other material it is gallon it starts with a G. It like it doesn't really work well or something like that. I, uh, that it can it can corrode things in in the system and it's not really good for your system. Got it. Okay, so seems like most likely won't be an issue, correct, Alex? As long as they were okay. careful. Yeah. Right. As long as they were careful and they uh, they boarded everything correctly and everything should be fine. Okay, cool. Just wanted to bring that out there. Alex did bring up a good point. I did not know this. The liquid metal, like I said, does look scary in this picture I'm looking at. It looks like um, it looks like the T virus from Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like it would do bad things to me. So make sure you don't lick this. Maybe write that on a sticky note and put it on a fridge. Don't lick it. Do not. You never know what's gonna happen. Don't lick it. Do not lick it. Alex, we got some backwards compatibility details. Before we get into that, Alex, was there anything about the design of the system or maybe the breakdown that you wanted to bring up before we move on? Uh, I mean, no. I mean, I think we pretty much covered it. I mean, I, I just, I mean, I'm excited to actually have it in my hands and check it out for myself. Yeah, I think I've gotten to that age, Alex, to where I'm tired of waiting and I just want it. And I'm not necessary. Like I'm, I think excited is a word I could use to describe my feelings, but I feel like the better word is just I want it to get to to be over with. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like I just kind of want the thing so it's over with and I have it. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Uh, moving on, of course, to the backwards compatibility news that was released today. Uh, we're going to be bringing up uh, backwards compatibility. Uh, it was talked about today. It was basically freshened up to the point of fully understanding. Mm -hmm. Whereas last week, I believe it was last week, me and Alex were sitting here still very confused on what this works. So I'm going to read exactly what the PlayStation blog said, um, basically summed up. So the vast majority of games, so about 4,000 PS4 games, will be playable on ps5 period so they went from 99 percent to majority <laughs> i i'm sure it's at 99 percent. i actually have the list of games that will not play i will get to that in a second select ps4 games will benefit from the ps5 console's game boost which may make ps4 games run with a higher or smoother frame rate my guess i'm reading through all the pr mess so that <clears throat> my guess is developers are going to have to manually boost their games i'm assuming um because it wouldn't have been a question otherwise right xbox is doing that thing where the games will run natively better on their system without them doing anything yeah but from that point of view like a select ps4s will benefit i'm assuming it will take dev time they'll probably pay some devs to re-up their games to a higher frame rate to combat the xbox thing of everything's going to run better uh the another thing we're gonna go over where is it sorry for the time oh uh yeah although many ps4 games are playable on ps5 some functionalities that were available on ps4 consoles may not be available on ps5 consoles in addition some ps4 games may exhibit errors or unexpected behavior when played on ps5 consoles before purchasing add-ons to play with your ps4 games on ps5 please try to boot and play your ps4 games on your ps5 console to see if you're happy with the play experience Alex, this does not sound like they're super confident that all games will play well. No. I More think they're going to be like, we're, we're giving it a shot. I don't know if it's going to work, but hey. How, how I'm, you... I'm going to throw it back to Mark Cerny back in June, I believe it was. He said the top 100 games are for sure playable on PS5. I believe that. Mm -hmm. I do not believe the vast majority of games will play fine. Their wording is still so vague that I think there's some niche titles that they just don't have time to R&D or sorry, not R&D to play test to see if it works. 
I'm I think sure not even the top 100 games are going to work perfectly. I think the top 100s will. I think they did take the time to see that because that's such an oddly specific. I don't. I Mark Cerny is a smart man. I don't peg him as a liar. I think he said a true statement that though most likely they play tested the top 100 games and they know they will work fine. Everything else, Wild West. <laughs> if it works, it works. If it doesn't, they're not going to fix it probably. Look, it's just funny that they went from ninety nine percent and then to the vast majority. To and now, and it's a qu- to now it's although many PS four games are playable, some functionalities that were available may not be available. Like what is? And then in addition, some PS four games may exhibit errors, or unexpected behavior, like. It's just so vague, it's scary. Now, (laughs) that's true. Most likely, I think every game that is generally played on a PS5 will probably work fine. Toei Toki number eight, you know, some random game like that may not work well because it's tied to some back end thing. Poi 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 might not work. Um, please note, this is again PlayStation Bug. Please note, playing PSVR games on a PS5 requires a PlayStation VR headset, a, PS, a PS5 camera, and a PS camera adapter. Wait, so, wait so, wait so yes, minute. yes. So, apparently, there needs to be a camera adapter. So, to like how wor- connected. Yes, exactly how they connected. Alex, do you want to know how much of the connected is like? They're not going to make you purchase it. So I'm assuming if you do the exact same thing Xbox did with the Connect, you go online, you upload your serial number, they send you a free Connect adapter. So they're going to send you a free camera adapter most likely if you just send them your serial number. Whatever. And, and, and and, And that's so I can use my old camera? Yes. If you use the new camera, everything's fine. Because the old camera isn't USB-A or something. Isn't that... Yeah. It's some random thing. Yeah, it's, it's kind of dumb. Um, it just says, always update your PS5 console to the latest version of the system. I don't know why that's included, but it is. <laughs> I don't know why they said that, but whatever. Now, this is a list of games that will not work on PS5. Listen up. PS4 only games are as followed: DWVR, Afro Samurai 2: Revenge of Kuma Volume 1, TT Isle of Man: Right on the Edge 2, Just Deal with It, Shadow Complex Remastered, Robinson: The Journey, We Sing, Hitman Go Definitive Edition, Damn, what's wrong with that game? Shadwin, Joe's Diner. That is the list of every single PS4 game that will not work on PS5. If I'm going to have to guess, that list is going to get a tad bit longer when the system goes out, but maybe it won't. That's a big 1%. <laughs> um, I mean, technically, I'm, I'm assuming it is less. I, I don't know. I need, we need to, I can't wait for launch day so we actually know what's going on, whereas we're just sitting here guessing. Um, but they go to reiterate that if you have a PS4 game disc, you can, of course, put that shit in your PS5 if you want to um they go to reiterate that it, you, if you buy the digital edition you cannot put your ps4 game discs inside of course um wait say, repeat that it, uh, so if you have a ps4 disc uh-huh. you cannot put it in a ps5 digital edition obviously because it does not have a disc oh for sure yeah uh, the transfer of digital games from a PS4 to a PS5. You can transfer digital games and saved data from a PS4 console to a PS5 console using Wi-Fi data transfer. You can access PS4 games on a PS5 console directly from a PS5 extended storage device. Cool. I don't love the Wi-Fi data transfer thing. I'm hoping I can just put it in the cloud and I can just suck it from the cloud to the PS5. Yeah, no, no. You could do that with the cloud, with PlayStation Plus cloud thing, or you could put it on the external hard drive. Uh, You sound super confident. You sure? Yes. Did they say I that? I, I read it earlier. Okay. If Alan, if that's not true, you go off to Alex, to, not me. I, no, I had literally had to look it up because I was wanted to make sure that my PS5 external hard drive, I, you know, my PS4 external hard drive could work on it. Yeah. And it says that you can't, yes, you can, uh, uh, you just put your saves onto the cl- onto the PlayStation Plus cloud thing that, and, yeah. or the external hard drive, and then you can just move it over. Right. Uh, they give you a list of upgrade eligible PS4 games to PS5. 
Um, if, if you want to look it up, there's a bunch of games. Uh, we we don't need to go over that. Sorry, excuse me. Now, compatible controllers. DualSense, of course, works on a PS5. D, uh, DualShock 4s will not work on PS5s. Nothing. Yeah, I was going to say nothing. Would the PS4 controller apparently will work on PS4 games playing on a PS5. So, okay. It's oddly specific, but all right. Is the PS5, the DualSense, the middle touch, is that still a touch thing? Yes. Okay. So I can still, so if I want to play PS4 games with the DualSense, I still am able to do that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. PS5 backwards compatibility limitations. The share menu cannot be displayed during PS4 gameplay on PS5 consoles. You can take screenshot and images by pressing the create button on your DualSense wireless controller to show the create menu. Additionally, you can use button shortcuts to start, stop video recording or to save screenshot as follows. I'm not reading all of that. You can just hit different buttons and have different things happen. Uh, the HD camera is not compatible with PS4 games, so the new camera will not work on your PS4 games. Uh, HDMI is automatically switched on for PS5 consoles. You can turn it off if you like. What? You could. What, what do you mean? What's the it what? So okay. So if I do get the new camera, so like let's say I do want. Oh, oh so that camera, pissed you off. So like if I want to play, like if I do get the new camera, which I was yeah. planning on it. Yes. But I want to play. Is is Beat Saber a PS4 game? I won't be able to play it. <laughs> That's a good question. Apparently not. I. Oh <laughs> That's. St- I'm sorry. That's that's. I I'm cussing a lot this video because I'm a little frustrated about the previous episode. But that's fucking dumb. I'm sorry. So, so now, so now I gotta get an adapter, and I have to get Hold a on. PS5. That can't so be true. Get- that can't be true, right? No way. That's true. There, you're telling me that you cannot use the new camera. No way. It, it has to work. That's the whole reason of having it, right? Is to work it on P- a VR game. Apparently not, because apparently you got to play PS5 VR games whenever that. No way! Hold on, hold on. P PS V. How would I even search this? Will I, dude, PS I have so many fucking HD VR games. camera? So that so like so now it's the requiring me to get the adapter from my old camera, and if I want to get the new camera, I'm not gonna. I might have to keep switching back and forth. Go fuck yourself. There's no way, right? That can't be right. That's a really Sony thing to. Oh my god, that's true! The new PlayStation 5 HD camera cannot be used to play PS4 PSVR games on your PS5. Why? There's no... (laughs) What? This is amazing. PS5 HD camera PSVR support not happening. (laughs) Sony confirms... This is this is the most Sony thing I've ever heard of in my life. They're just they're just straight up saying this camera will not work with VR games. I'm assuming now that the this camera is not meant for VR at all. It's just meant to record your stupid face. Is that right? Is it? it I think it's just meant to record our stupid faces, Alex. It's it's dumb. And that's fucking that. Alex, I that's incredible. I I love that. That is connect level stupidity. Like that is that is very bad. Very bad. I am that is <laughs> I'm sorry. That is hilarious. I <laughs> I just wasn't expecting that. You would assume the camera would work for your PS4 games, but it doesn't. Nope. Why would you buy it then? <laughs> To, I guess to use it as a camera to talk to people like on Skype? Go oh, fuck yourself. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. That's, am- you know. that's amazing. I, that is, I can't. Look, that look, is you know incredible. What? You, know what? you know what? That is a note from me. Oh, that's a note from him. Is that, So that just made you not get it, right? That you don't want that the camera now? No, no, like, what's the point of getting the new cameras? Okay, so now, okay, so now they're gonna tell me when the new PS5 VR games come out, I can't use my old camera even with the adapter. Watch, that's gonna happen now. Oh, dude, you bet your ass it's gonna happen. A hundred percent with the new PlayStation VR system, you will not be able to use the old camera or this new camera, right? Oh, assumably. 
Oh my god, if that's true. That's, I'm calling that's, it now. Yo, if that's true, that is incredible. They've sold you like seven cameras at this point, by the way. <laughs> like that's their seventh camera they've sold you. And I bet you and I bet you that adapter is not free. They no, they said it's free. They they did. Oh, yeah. yeah, they say that now. <laughs> I was like, I don't trust any of you anymore. <laughs> Dude, this is I honestly did not see that happening that that's pretty amazing that 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 sucks though all jokes aside i love making fun of everybody i make fun of everyone i make fun of xbox i know this is xbox i make fun of them all the time that is hilarious but on a serious note that sucks that that should not be a thing i i know the camera's only 30 bucks maybe they made it a little more expensive and include whatever you need for the vr maybe you know i i just i feel like that's not acceptable in my opinion but maybe this isn't as big a deal as i think it is alex you do seem upset like right right like that's a big deal right well it, it is because i'm not gonna lie i'm cheap i'm on a budget man I don't like, keep nothing wrong with that i don't i don't want to keep spending money on cameras of course I just want, and i just want to play my vr games like dude i love the hell out of beat saber i'll play that shit a couple of days a week but now, like, you're telling me, like, if I want the new camera, which I did, because I, I like to make sure that I get the full experience, I won't be able to play my beat table? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, that, that sucks. That, that really does oh, suck. Unless, unless, un- unless all the VR games that, they, that, that I own and they'll give me a free upgrade for those, then I'll be fine. So if Beat Saber, Blood and Truth, all those VR games will get a PS5 like upgrade or some type of thing where I can play it on PS5, then I'll be I'll, I'll be fine. But if not, no, that's ridiculous. I think it's also ridiculous. Sorry, you you guys heard an ad begin there, um, so I apologize for that. But uh, I was able to pause it really quickly. I didn't even hear uh, anything. Well, you wouldn't. The audience does because they're hearing my. Oh, gotcha. Uh, my, my actual pc but th- that i think at the end of the day is a huge downside um and i really don't think that's being communicated properly if i did not know that if a- alex if i did if you and me don't know that fucking nobody does like i and i, I know that i don't mean this sound like a like a, you know oh i know everything that's not what i mean I read this stuff every single day of my life. <laughs> if I don't know that, nobody, no, you, you, like, no one knows that. So that sucks. That, I don't think that's being conveyed properly. That needs to be a PlayStation blog. Like, hey, this, this, like, make sure you don't buy this expecting this thing. Because that sucks. That's not fair to a lot of people. A lot of people are going to, a lot of people, Alex, are buying the new camera expecting to play their old P- VR games. 100% guarantee that. Oh, and now they're not going to do it, and they're going to be, they're going to be calling Best Buy's game styles, and you're like, why does this work? Oh, it doesn't work. Why didn't you tell me? Why would I tell you that? I, I, can, I can give you a whole scenario. I'm fucking opening the box. I'm getting excited. I'm putting that shit up. I'm setting my VR setup, and it, it's like not connecting. What's not connecting? What's not connecting? I started looking that bitch up. It cannot be used. What the fuck are you selling me this for? Yeah, what? Well, yeah, it is. It it does get to that point where like, why are you selling this then, other than to sell you a camera that you're selling it now? So for future VR games, so well then, what's the point of the adapter with the new with the old camera? Watch, uh, watch, watch, watch. That's gonna happen. We move. We gotta move on. <laughs> We've been tearing this apart. Moving on. PlayStation trophies. They're getting overhauled. And by overhauled, they have been overhauled. They have already happened. This is a little late, but we wanted to bring it up anyways. So, Sony is introducing a few changes to its trophy systems. Um, According to the uh, PlayStation blog, the trophy level is getting a boost. Currently, trophies fall in the range of 1 to 100. So, you are a level between 1 and 100. The amount of trophies you get basically extends your level up. They're going to upgrade this from 1 to 999 (laughs) so that extends the 1 to 100 all the way to 99 so that now is going to put you in a new level rating in the playstation itself so for instance if you're level 12 you'll be in like the low 200 sony says alex right now what level are you did you did you look it up 
either two in like early 200s like 209 or 213 something like that really quick really quick alex fill time for a second i want to see what mine is oh god okay yeah no I, you're not really good at it but i believe in you well no i I, I honestly I kind of like this better just because it to me to be honest it makes me feel a little better about trophies because oh, a hundred a, game, a hundred a lot, of game, a lot of games are kind of hard to get trophies with for example I mean I probably suck but the first Last of Us I maybe have two trophies for that game and it's just completing the game like the new one is it's it's fine I mean like I'm about to platinum it the trophies but, um, in Last of Us one suck. Yeah, like it's ridiculous, but um, I literally like I don't feel like I'm getting much out of it. So like when I see a level thirteen, I'm like, ah, am I really that high level? Um, so like when I see a two hundred, I'm like, oh, I feel like I come up there, even though I mean I'm probably not. Right. Yeah. No, you definitely feel better. I will po- point out to like a a crazy man. Um, your Greg Millers, your Colin Moriarty's, your crazy trophy people. Mm-hmm. They were like level 40, and that just doesn't sound high, right? Like, that doesn't yeah. sound impressive. But I do think level 800, that sounds way more impressive than oh, 200, sure. you know? So, or, sorry, or 40. So, I think that, I think it's definitely cooler, mm-hmm. right? It's like, it's like, it's like, well, we're, it's, we're, we've been playing a lot of Destiny, right? It's like, um,. Like D one, you know, you're level you're level forty, and there's then there's a, like a light level underneath, and the highest is like what three to four hundred. It was but yeah, with, like four hundred. With the, with D two, you're light. You just go to straight to light level, and it's like ten. It's ten. You're a thousand. Yeah, so I'm like, it's it just feels you like feels like you're stronger and better. Yeah. Oh wait, but, uh, sorry, is this update not live yet? Did I get that wrong? No, oh I, no, I, it just I, no no, it literally just, just changed. No, it yeah, just changed right before my eyes. Like it, it wasn't. It didn't change before. Yeah, so literally, it's happened to me. Yeah, it just, just changed before. It was. I. It literally said level fifteen, and then it changed like right in front of me. Let me guess. So, let me guess. You're mid two fifties, like somewhere. Around you're now? close. I'm two sixty three. Two sixty three. What are you again? I'm sorry. Two thirty, right? No, no, I'm in the early two hundred, like two, between two ten and two twenty. See, my my favorite thing is, and now that you have a little trophy icon, by the way, which is cool. Yeah. Um. You. Uh, so, all bronze people are from one to three hundred. Yeah. Uh, all silver people are three hundred to six hundred. All gold people are six hundred to nine hundred ninety eight. And if you're nine hundred ninety nine, you are platinum tier. Yeah. That's so that's cool. Nuts. That's cool. Um. This is completely revamping the system. Uh, I did hear a lot of people are very upset though because this does not change the overall problem with trophies. Um, for instance, they all weigh the same. So an incredibly difficult platinum like, let's say, Dark Souls weighs the exact same as a platinum from My Name is Mayo, which takes 10 minutes to get. So this doesn't really change anything for those people with those problems, but it does make you feel cooler with a bigger level. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I do... Yeah, I mean, like I actually like that they added the little bronze, silver, and things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you have like a tier, you you know, you have a level and a tier now, which is kind of cool. Um, mm-hmm. and to be honest, I I makes me want to get more platinums because no, sure. like I want to be higher level now. I want to I want to be at least silver, and I, honestly, I want to actually be gold. I feel like gold is much cooler than silver, but I'll have to suffice yeah. for silver for now. I mean, platinum's cool, but there's no way we're getting there. That's unattainable. I don't even go for that. Nope. Unobtainable. Alex! Ugh. There was some um, Spider-Man news that I need to... F- yeah, I need to find real quick. Um, what was it? Am I misremembering? I feel like there was some more Spider-Man features. Um, let's do PS5. Uh, oh, it's gone gold. That was the thing. Ah. So it's it's gone gold now, which is cool. That's good. So they're all set to go. No delays, of course. I didn't think uh, anyone expected that, but there's no delays. Um, Alex, uh, we're getting new suits in the remastered version of Spider-Man. That's nice. Uh, we're getting the Amazing Spider-Man, and apparently there's more suits other than that. They just don't want to spoil it. Um, and then they did tease that Miles is getting the Spider-Verse costume in the game, too. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah. The only downside is, is some knockoff-ass Jordans, but it's okay. 
Oh, I did see that. Yeah, they're not Jordans. They're just red shoes. It's it's sad, but you get it. And they're not gonna they're not gonna pay that much money to put a Jordan into the game. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that is that is the big news from that. Uh, that should be everything that's pretty nuts right now. Um, there was a crazy looking story um, about Bethesda games. Did you hear about this? Uh, ref, ref, uh, probably, but I don't know. So remember. there was a, I don't want to say leak, but ESRB has been rating Bethesda games, right? And there is a leak that says there's going to be a Wolfenstein, Dishonored, and Prey collection coming to the Series X and Series S by ESRB. The surprising tidbit that we can learn from this is that it has only been rated for PC, Xbox Series S, and Series X. Of course, the obvious left out there is PS5 and PS4. Mm -hmm. So no PlayStation consoles are apparently going to be coming. Um, sorry, the, these, these games are apparently not going to be coming to ps 5 which could signify... Exclusive? exclusives uh, at least in these uh frameworks and also could signify that these games these bethesda titles aren't coming to ps5 at all ever that's crazy it's crazy it's you know only conjecture because these are re-releases these aren't new games so it's not really a one-to-one comparison but i thought it was good enough to bring up that it's it could be a possibility that we could live in I mean, as much as uh, Phil said that he doesn't like uh, exclusivity, I mean, sometimes you just got to do it. But he loves money. So we're going to figure out if he likes money more or exclusives more. <laughs> right? Yeah, we'll, we'll, figure, we'll figure that out. Um, but so Alex. Colin, the man, Elder Scrolls and Fallout are going to be exclusive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I forgot. Yeah, you're in the exclusive club, right? Like, all these games are exclusives, right? Yeah, I've, I, that's what I, I feel like they're going to be. I haven't. I'm not married to one yet. But if I, if you may, if you gun to my head, I had no choice but to say it. I say, uh, they will be on PS5. Mm-hmm. Elder Scrolls will be on PS5. Gun to my head. Okay. Gun to my fucking face. Um, I wanted to bring up another. Story. There we go. This is it. <clears throat> so this is by The Guardian. Uh, this is just something very interesting. I've heard a lot of people bring up G- uh, Genshin Impact. Um, and I wanted to bring up an interesting little story that really shows off some sadness, honestly. Um, so Genshin Impact, of course, is a huge game right now. Free to play on PS4 um, and uh, PC, I believe. Uh, it's it's blasted off. People are loving this game. They're playing it. It's a free to play um, gotcha game in quotes. Um, it's very anime. Alex, look up a trailer just so you have a rough estimate of what it looks like. Um, but Genshin Impact, Genshin Impact. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with this story. Genshin Impact, you have heard of it. I know you have. It has been blowing up throughout the weeks. Um, it is made by Chinese developer MiHoYo. Um, it was released last week. Um, it has been the biggest global launch of a Chinese game ever. The biggest global launch of a Chinese game ever. But users have noticed there are certain names taken out of their in-game chat. Names such as, and this is from a Twitter account, Kazumi Hishima, uh, Hashimoto. I, Apologies no, if I butchered that. Kaz, it's okay. Ka- Kazuma Hashimoto. Uh, due to uh, Genshin Impact censoring the words Taiwan and Hong Kong in the in-game chat, I will no longer be posting about the game. And then he verified it. It does not let you type in Hong Kong, Taiwan, uh, f- uh, Falun Gong, and uh, some other ones that are pretty obvious they wouldn't let you in. But the big ones are, of course, Taiwan Hong Kong. So I just want to remind everyone, hey, Chinese government has their hands in a lot of things. This is a giant Chinese company. They are a giant dictatorship. They are totalitarian. They are making them not be able to put 
very simple things in in-game chat. Clearly motivated by the Chinese government. Just wanted to bring that up. If anyone has any qualms with dealing with the Chinese government, then maybe you don't celebrate the game, but there's no shame in liking the game regardless of those facts. It, oh. it has, it, it, it's giving me a weird sword art vibe, though. I mean, it's super anime, Alex. I think you would like I it. Um, I do want to try it just to see what the hubbub is about. Um, but that would that would make me not play Destiny, and you know that's just not possible, right? So, so that's just impossible for me. Uh, but I I am gonna play this just to look at what oh Jesus ads my God. Um, anyways, um, I did want to bring up uh one thing I did forget to bring up about the Spider Man story. There will be a prequel novel or comic book. I don't remember. Hold on, Spider Man Miles prequel. Oh, you'll definitely be down on that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely reading this. I think it's an awful, though. Let me see. Oh, damn it. I wonder if they're ever going to uh, put back in like where you can collect uh, comic books again. Remember yeah, I that? wish, but I assume there's limitations or something around this. Um, yeah, so Spider-Man Miles Morales art book and prequel novel announced. Um, this is over on IGN. IGN can exclusively reveal the titles of the cover art for Titan Books, Marvel, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Wings of Fury, the prequel novel tied to the game, as well as My- Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales, the art of the game. Um, and then they show off the cover art for the game, which looks pretty hot. I'm not going to lie. It looks kind of cool. Um, and then the art art of the game shows off their version of the Spider-Verse uh, costume. Um, doesn't look obviously as cool as the Spider-Verse, but it's close. Um, and again, knock off Jordans. Very sad. Um, Wings of Fury will actually hit before the PS4 or PS5 game is released, with the novel written by Slay author Brittany Morris being available from Titan on November 10th. The story focuses on Miles grappling with the responsibility of being Spider-Man as he deals with Vulture and Starling setting experimental tech onto the streets of New York. It will cost $16 and is 288 pages long. The official description reads as such, with an exclu- exclusive adventure leading directly into the game itself. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales Wings of Fury features Miles Morales coming to terms with what it means to be Spider-Man and mix up with the law leaves Miles questioning everything. And when Vulture and his accomplice Starling unleashes experimental tech on Marvel's New York, Miles must decide what kind of hero he wants to be. So I just reread everything I just fucking said, but there you go. I was gonna say, how many times are you gonna say Miles? How many? How many times did they just make me say Spider Man, Miles, and Spider Man, and mixing it like I hate everyone. I hate everyone. Alex, hmm. that's the news for the week. I did want to leave you with, of course. Something to think about. What did you think about the PS5 breakdown? Leave in the comments below what you thought. You can, of course, head over to patreon.com slash and direct message us there. Remember, use the DM service to get in contact with the show. Leave a question, comment, concern, thought, and or idea. Maybe a sexy pick. Up to you. If you like us even more than that, you can, of course, support us there. Look at the tiers if any of them interest you. Or if you just want to support us, please leave a dollar. Tip us with just the tip. Thank you so much for listening today. We are going to end today's show just like we do any other. Asking Alex what he has queued up for the weekend. This, of course, can be a TV show, movie, comic, video game, and or video game show. Alex, what's queued up? So, I I started playing Squadrons today. Oh, you did the pew pew in the room. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. Okay. The game is, it's not bad. Oh, that's what you want to hear. Oh, well, the it's game's not, not bad. It's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not keeping me, and I feel like I need to play with you, the multiplayer thing, because the story, I mean, it's, I think it's fine. I the just, story is not good. Do not even pretend. And at least the beginning is not good. The why did I call what was happening in the beginning immediately? As, as soon as two words left this character's mouth, I said he's going to do this. I then I then was like he might do it at the end of the game though. I assume they're not going to do that. For, he does it in the next five minutes of the game. It is it it. it 
and no offense to the writers, it is hard to write period anything. But mm-hmm. damn, that that was not very good to me. No, yeah, and I I I like that you can customize your uh, yeah. your like your ship and stuff like that so i really want to mess with that so i need to be able to play online and you're gonna do that with me because i want to try this game online but if not i guess it wasn't for me i've been actually wanting to go back to sword art i mean yeah go back to sword art i'm going to be finishing stranger things Mm -hmm. i'm going to be finishing the boys so those will be two shows i will have done i promise by the next recording Oh, snap. And maybe we'll do like a fun. Like maybe we'll do a spoiler cast for the boys. How's that sound, Alex? Hey, I'm down. Yeah, you want to do that? We'll do that. We'll rated, make a promise. Rated R. rated R. We'll make a promise that within the next two weeks we'll have a spoiler cast ready. I'm down. I am so down. That sounds really good. I love the boys, so I will talk about it at length. Mm-hmm. Alex, what's up? That's the week for you. That is the week for you. We will see you guys next week, of course, talking about the latest in gaming news. Thank you for joining us. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Go kiss a frog. I don't know. Goodbye. Oh, and uh, Dodgy.